Hello everyone, welcome back to Radiology Med Easy, your all-time favorite YouTube channel. Let's see today's case. A 72-year-old female patient presented with chronic cough. Frontal and lateral radiographs of the chest were taken. What do you think about these images? What is your diagnosis? A humble request from the Radiology Medis team. Please take 5 seconds of your valuable time and please like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Also, please comment below what do you think of us. Your comments and feedbacks are very important in our future work. Here, lungs are well inflated, the costophrenic angles look good and also the heart is normal in size. However, the right heart border is faintly seen compared to left. There is subtle increase in the density in the right lower lung when compared with the left. In the lateral view, it is very obvious what is actually causing this. This is right middle lobe atelectasis. Usually, right middle lobe atelectasis can be caused by mucus plug, endobronchial lesions, foreign body, or even a cancer. Middle lobe bronchus can also be compressed. Right middle lobe syndrome It refers to Chronic right middle lobe collapse which is usually associated with bronchiectasis. There is no obstructing lesion. It can be caused by Lady Windermere's syndrome which is seen typically in elderly white women. It occurs due to chronic suppression of normal cough reflex which predisposes to pulmonary mycobacterium avium complex infection. In this HRCT axial lung window, we can clearly see the collapse of the right middle lobe. Clinical Presentation Mostly, patients are asymptomatic and others may present with chronic cough. Treatment The mainstay of treatment include chest physiotherapy, postural drainage, mucolytics such as nebulized sodium chloride, antibiotics, and sometimes surgery. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this.